transmitting right now. We do have a signal. A Pentagon, a Pentagon official, a Pentagon official reached by telephone has just confirmed that U.S. missiles have destroyed an asteroid that entered the Earth's atmosphere tail end. Meteors to hit our planet in recorded history. In our planet in recorded history. Meteor impacts have caused destruction worldwide. Work we've been unable to reestablish communication with anyone outside of North America since our satellite feed went down. So all we're able to bring you are these images from last night. Last night. Here in the U.S., casualty counts are still being compiled, but the estimates we've been able to piece together are rapidly climbing to a staggering 22,000. 22,000. damage is being estimated in the hundreds of billions and environmental impact is truly catastrophic. Hour ago, hour ago, the president addressed the nation via shortwave radio, which is quickly becoming the only reliable mode of communication. We ask that you stay where you are, or if where you are isn't safe, please proceed to the closest shelter or FEMA camp. Now that the meteor storm and debris fallout has stopped, we've begun using aircraft to deliver aid nationwide. Try to remember, as dark as this day may seem, we have neutralized an asteroid that could have wiped us out of existence. We have lived to fight another day. We have prevailed. Calvin, Calvin, please. All right, all right, partner. Just for old time's sake, I'm gonna be real nice about this and make it fast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's over. There have been no reported impacts in the last three hours. Now, I'm not one for speeches, but on behalf of the president and a very grateful nation, I want to thank each and every one of you for a job well done. We've accomplished our mission. We stopped the meteors. Now it's up to other teams to clean up the mess. I know we all want to get to our families. The skies are clear. We've got choppers on standby. Let's go home. Yeah.
Don't try to talk. You gotta go. Go warn them. Go. Oh, no. No. Oh. You're not getting off that easy. I have a granddaughter. When she grows up, I want her to be like you. No. I think it was too weak. Oh, man. Got some more blankets here, folks, if anybody didn't get one. Yeah. Turn it down, will you? It's scaring people. All right, listen up, folks. Listen up, please. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is that we haven't seen or heard anything fall out of the sky for the last couple of hours and the radio seems to be giving us an all clear. The bad news is uh, I'm afraid you're gonna have to stay here for a little while longer until we go out and check and make sure everything is safe. So give us your patience for just a little while longer and we'll get you home just as soon as we can. Nothing. Uh, the satellites are probably damaged. Can we just leave him here? Time to a pipe or something? Uh, I don't trust him. Uh, he's too smart. Come on. You okay? I'm feeling a little tender. You? Yeah. I wish mom was here. Mom, I'm here! Oh. 
Baby, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but Buck's not. He's passed out. He's not breathing. I need you to go to Buck and do exactly what I say. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm here. Is he laying on his back? Yeah. Now I need you to breathe for him. Ma, I can't do this. I don't know how. You can do this, Michael. His life depends on it. We've got incoming. What? They're reading off the charts. What the hell? They're not fallout. They're too big. Then what are they? I don't know. It could be another wave. I don't know where it's coming from. I got no data here. And what the hell's our warning? We got no satellite coverage. And ground radar is still only 30% operational. Get everyone back. How far out is Colonel Beck? We can't raise his chopper, sir. Oh, my God. General, get everything in the air down now. You heard the man. And let's get all missile batteries back on alert. And pray that we have enough left. One, two, three, four. <coughs> no way, man, no way. What is it? It's okay. He's okay, Mom. Buck's okay. Oh, oh thank you, God. <sighs> Folks, I know that some of your homes have been damaged. Just remember, the fallout shelter is open for business. We're here to help you if you need us. Horrible. Yeah, it could be worse. At least we're alive. $50. Excuse me? $50 for the phone. That's ridiculous. Look, I'm a scientist. There's another asteroid coming. This is an emergency. I need to talk to the government. Uh, fine. We're all gonna die, but apparently all you care about is your stupid money. I just came across the border, okay? I have pesos in like $16. Come on, $16 for one stupid phone call? This is an emergency! I need to use your damn phone now. Drop it! Drop it now! Now go! Please, please don't shoot! Even though the meteors have stopped falling, many fear this is just the first chapter in a worldwide catastrophe from which we may never recover. The estimated cost of rebuilding damaged and destroyed structures is projected to continue to rise for this foreseeable future. 
many analysts are predicting a figure in the hundreds of trillions of dollars. Leading experts at the IMF have gone on record as saying that it will take a concerted effort by countries around the globe to address the truly biblical scale of the devastation. Max Pearl, Assistant Secretary of the Treasury, testifying at the first congressional hearing said that he believes the economies of the world will unilaterally become what he described as stop. economies of necessity, where rebuilding infrastructure and providing basic needs will become paramount for decades. Kitty Corcoran, NPR News, Los Angeles. <laughs> I decided to make another run for survivors. Why aren't you at the shelter? I think Kelsey. Kelsey and Michael are inside. This whole place could cave in at any moment. Yeah, which is why I gotta get him out. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, this is a big place. There gotta be another way in. Where? There's a service entrance behind the south wing lot. We could try there. Come on. Let's go. Come on, come on. Jenny? Jenny? This is Chief Crow at the Taft Police Department requesting assistance. Anybody out there? Highway Patrol, come in. Still nothing. Maybe the relay station in Del Mar got hit. Yeah, maybe. Um, Chief. What is it, sir? What's the matter? How long do you think we're going to be able to hold out? This is a, this is a catastrophe. We're going to need help. And we're going to get it. Son, we just keep going. We take it one hour at a time. The important thing is to stay cool. Now you hang in there, you're doing just fine. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Hello, this is Chief Crow at the Taft Police Department. Come in, come in. Chopper went down. No survivors. Sir! Go. I have a rock heading just south of Taft, California. Isn't that mostly desert? Sir, there's a Taft power plant. So most of the Pacific grid is already out. That's a nuclear power station. What are the chances? I don't know. I've never heard of a nuclear power station taking a direct hit from a meteor. I'm in station seven. Chief, a meteor just hit the power station. Damn it. Get everybody back to the shelter right now. Uh, 
There's something's happening. <laughs> Mom! What? What happened? Buck, he's not breathing right. Uh, okay, is he bleeding? Is blood coming out of his mouth? <coughs> no! Okay, all right, that's good. Um... <coughs> Mom, what do we do? It's getting worse. Oxygen. He needs oxygen. Mom, what do I do? Okay, you need you need to calm him down. Get him to calm down his breathing. That's very important. How do I calm it? I... <coughs> uh. Come on, breathe into it. Breathe into it. Stand up. Oh, oh, come on. You gotta rest. All right, we'll figure this out. No! You know what? This I can solve. Chelsea! Michael! Chelsea! Come on! Have you heard anything about Imogen O'Neill yet? Nothing yet. I'm sorry, sir. I really could use her. doing this? I thought maybe you were thirsty. Oh, I know what you mean. Your father destroys my life, and now it's his turn to suffer. Is that what you mean? Just let me go. There's, there's nothing that... Come on, Judy! Come on! Have some fun, huh? Life is too short, baby! It's a gorgeous day. We got fireworks in the sky. <laughs> oh, God, please don't kill me. <laughs> killing me will do nothing. Contraire, my sweet love. Killing you is going to be so, so much fun. And then I'm going to do your grandpa, your papa. <laughs> And then, you know what's going to be the best part of all this? Huh? Watching your daddy's face see it all happening. <laughs> You're good for now. But you know what? I see that look again. You try to walk away again. I'm going to blow out your kneecaps and still make you walk. Understand me? And that hurts. Please, please. You ever try walking without kneecaps, baby? Huh? <laughs> it's hard to do. And it hurts. Go! Oh. 
Prices for real? Supply and demand. What do you need? I'll take two of these bottles of water. One of what you're eating. This ought to cover it. Your math's not too good. No? Well, then maybe this will help. Not doing anything illegal. Pop, you all right? You have a permit for that? Put the gun down now. Or what? This can end a couple of ways, none of them good. This keeps up. Your son will wind up dead or a murderer. It's your call. Put it down. Now! Wait outside. Ordinarily, I'd have to confiscate the gun and take him in. Today's not really normal, though, is it? No. But showing him it's all right to take advantage of people during a crisis, this is not a very... <clears throat> not a very good example. You follow me? You should get to a hospital. No, I don't have time. I have to find my, uh, my daughter. You on foot? Yeah, I totaled my car back down the road. Look, uh, let, let, let me help you out. I owe you.
help you? Oh. Sorry, I, I, I called out, but nobody answered. Oh, that's okay. I, my hearing isn't as good as it used to be. Uh, would you like a cup of tea? I just made a picture. Yes, please. All right. But can I use your phone first? I'm just in a bit of a hurry. Oh, surely go, go right ahead. Make yourself at home. Chetwin, Imogene O'Neill on two. Hey, how are you? Well, I've been better. Dr. Lehman's assumptions were off. Wait, wait, wait. I'm putting on the box. Lehman's assumptions what? We're off. He miscalculated the mass. The first half of Cassandra split the comet in two. And the asteroid we blew up? Was only half of Cassandra. And the other half is bigger. Now, this shouldn't be happening, but I still think it's heading right for us. All right, that explains the meteor activity we're getting. Wait, are you telling me there's another asteroid coming? Yes. Are you sure? Why didn't near-Earth radar pick that up yesterday? Because the first half of Cassandra was shadowing the radar. Now, look, I'm running the asymmetrical trajectory algorithm. Sir, I have incoming, and it's huge. That's Cassandra. Not as big as Cassandra. I'd say 900 square feet. Where's it headed? Uh, sir? Is that... Sometimes it acts up. No. I think they've been hit. Anything? No. I think we're all gonna die. Well, I think you're right. <laughs> Shouldn't you be getting to a shelter? Why? If I'm going to die, I'll do it right here in my home with the things that I love. See, honey, I, I've come to terms with who I am and how I've lived my life. And I'm surprisingly happy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not. Not if there's still a chance. Then you go, girl. Where's the nearest army base? Well, that Claremont Naval Station by, by Ronnie. OK, OK. So if I could just communicate with Dr. Chetwin. If he's not gone and, um, OK, and if he is, I'm sure they've set up some sort of command center by now. Um, can I borrow your car? Oh, I'm sorry. I gave it to charity last year. Damn it. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you use a gun? Follow me.
Chief, you think it was nuclear? I didn't see a mushroom cloud. Yeah, there could be radiation. That's why we need to get inside. All right, let's go, folks, all the way into the shelter. Who's gonna save ours? Turns out we used up most of our missiles on only half an asteroid. The other half is coming back to finish the job. Even if we had enough firepower left, we're radar blind. No, no, we're not. The space station, didn't we just send a team up last week? You're assuming they survived last night. But sir, no one said they didn't. If they're still up there, they could be our eyes. How do we communicate? Satellites are up. And shortwave won't reach. What about the ground-based dishes? We can hook them up on a ghost relay, and then- It won't work for audio. We don't need audio. Just bursts. Morse code. Good thinking, soldier. Let's just hope it works. Now, I know you folks have been through a lot here, what with all the the hoo-ha going on out there. And uh, I want you to know I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry, so I need you to just stay calm and relax, all right? Uh, oh, yeah, this is good. Uh, oh, look at that. Say cheese. <laughs> Gonna turn out great, baby. There you go. All right. Gonna be out of your hair just one sec. You're doing great. You're doing very good. You're not looking very relaxed, though. them live. You know what? Never even occurred to me. <laughs> yeah, well.
Associated Press is reporting there have been two hits in Siberia, one off the coast of Iceland and one as far south as the Sinai Desert. We brought the water. Look, the most important thing is to find him and get him out of here. Yeah. We gotta move.
They were on the other side of the globe through the worst of it. Can they track the center? Yes, they say they've now got her on visual. She's that close? Yeah, they say their biggest problem will be staying out of her way. <gasps> and our biggest problem is shooting her down. What good is knowing where she is if we used up all our missiles? We've got some left. Chantlin's girl said this asteroid is bigger. We're dead! Mr. Whitaker, you will either calm down or I will calm you down. Well said, Lieutenant. And here's a thought. What? We're not the only ones with missiles. Get me through to the bunker on shortwave. I need to get the president to start speaking with the Russians and... Uh, the Chinese. And let's pray they haven't used up their arsenal. I'm really sorry, ma'am, but I've told you already, the fresh fruit is for the kids. I think this rationing is ridiculous. Why should the elderly suffer? Ma'am, we have limited supplies. Limited supplies? Don't treat me like an idiot. Look, Mrs. Neely, you just choose something else. Oh! oh. Excuse me. Look, Dwight, stay out of this. We have plenty of fruit for the kids and Mrs. Neely. God bless you, young man. Thank you. You're welcome. Here you go, guys. Dwight. I was wrong. Thank you. Okay, folks, listen up. I checked the FEMA guidelines. The explosion itself was certainly not nuclear. So the chances of radioactive fallout, very small. But they're there. You're absolutely right. And that's why I brought these. What are those? Geiger counters. You have radiation suits that go with those? No. No, we don't. Unfortunately, we didn't plan the way we should have. This is unacceptable. You... Which is why I'm taking full responsibility. I'll check the radiation myself. Sure that's wise, Chief? Comes with the territory. You can't go alone. He's right. The more that go with you, the quicker you can cover the town the less you'll be exposed to radiation. Count me in. Me too. Me too. Comes with the territory. I was hoping you'd say that. Step right up, gentlemen. Come on, Lester. Some water? Here you go. Hey. Hey. Listen, these fellas are gonna take you to the FEMA camp. It's, it's only about a half an hour down the road. They have a full medical team there. And, I'm sorry, I, I wish I could take you myself, but I just have to find my daughter, so. Do you think anyone will care about me, I mean, with all this going on? Yes, I care. These fellas care, the, the doctors will care. It may not seem so, but there are still decent people out there, okay? Really? Thank you. Glad I could help.
he's not back yet. I tried calling out earlier. How's Buck? He passed out a while ago. need you to turn around. Sir, you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Um, LAPD, we're in pursuit of a suspect we think might have come this way. May I pass? I'm sorry, sir, I can't let you do that. Nuclear power plant got hit with a meteor and they think there's gonna be some fallout. I need you to turn back. Oh, wow, that's crazy. No problem. No problem. Oh, excuse me. Sir? Do you guys have uh, an extra bottle of water or something? Yeah, of course, detective. One for the lady. Hold tight. Thank you. Look out! <laughs> Oh, 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 wait. Get out of the car. Okay. Now. All right. You may want to take the safety off that weapon first. 
Please, don't kill me. This is your lucky day, lady. I am a cop, and I don't even have the time to arrest you. Okay, please. I need to get to the Claremont Navy base. Please. No. You need to get lost, all right? I am done. I need to find my daughter. Okay, and I need to get these coordinates to the army to shoot down that asteroid, or we're all gonna die while I sit here yelling at you. So basically, you need a lift. Yes. All right. I'm going to Taft. It's an hour away from Claremont. If the government really needs you, they can send someone to pick you up. No, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. Do you want to walk? No. No. Then get in. Get in! Sir? The Chinese are on board, but the doggone Russians refuse to share their arsenal. Their radar blind, they gotta protect their people, blah, blah, blah. What are the boys upstairs saying? They estimate 20 minutes till she enters the atmosphere. Half hour tops. All right, let's hope our missiles and the Chinese are enough. Let's get a trajectory from the space station. Sir? Go. You say the Russians are radar blind. Yeah, so are we, so what? So they don't know what's coming their way until it's about to hit. Your point? Why don't we warn them that ground zero for the asteroid hit is Moscow? And how would we know that, soldier? We don't, sir. They have to think we do. You mean? Yes, sir. We tell them Cassandra's headed their way, and they won't get the exact coordinates until they agree to a coordinated launch. That's the same. Sir, we are running out of options. That's the only thing that just won't work. Right, how's it going? It looks all clear here. Same here. I'll do a few more blocks, then let's head up past Oak Street. Copy that. Would you look at that? Your own grandpa. Didn't even stop to say hello. <laughs> and you call that family. You did it, kid. The Russians bought it. They're not happy about it, but they'll aim the missiles where we tell them. And that's good, because the space station says the asteroid's entering Earth's gravity as we speak. Trajectory vectors. Should have them at any minute. Luckily, Cassandra's going to miss them by at least a mile. Good.
lost him. What? No. Nothing. We lost contact. We have to assume the worst. missiles. Okay, the initial impact was there. So allowing for trajectory differentiation, atmospherics. How long till your asteroid hits? About a half hour, if we're lucky. You're not making this up, are you? It's all right here. I'm gonna die unless we stop this. I'm sorry about your daughter. I will find her if it's the last thing I do, which, according to you, it may well be. This is insane. It's just... I know. Well, I don't care if it is all ending. You want to be with her? I know. You're a good father. Oh, I am a poor excuse for a father. Loved my dad. Went out for cigarettes when I was 12 and never came back. So wherever he is, I can guarantee he's not thinking about me. Trust me, you're a good father. Thanks.
up here? I'm sorry. Let's get you a phone before... before this gets any worse. I hope I can still read the GPL. Calvin? Yep. Playtime's over, Jack. Slide your gun out to me. Now! What's going on, Calvin? Uh, don't do that, Chief. Daddy has Jenny. Where is she, Calvin? I won't ask again. You're in no position to ask anything. Now, I think it's time for you to say goodbye to your daddy. <laughs> goodbye, Calvin. Good shot, son. You got him. <laughs> yeah, this is Imogen. She needs the phone right away. Uh, I think the phones are out all over town. Uh, where do you think he stashed Jenny? I, I don't know, but I'll find her. What about the radio tower on the Hangman's Hill? Is it a microwave transmitter? I don't know. I, I think so. But don't you think we ought to find my granddaughter first? I will find Jenny. All right. You get Imogen up the hill. We'll meet you there. All right. Jenny. 
Jenny. Baby. Daddy. I knew you'd make it. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. It's over. Honey, I'm so sorry about all this. It's not your fault. Yes, yes it is. You're a cop. That's what you do. You do the right thing even if it hurts. I get it. Is Grandpa okay? I can do? No, I'm almost there. I just gotta boost the cell signal. San Diego and LA both have visuals. Oh, God. And now Seattle, that's three. Start triangulating. Send vectors? Coming through. I forgot to shut the windows. Brasser. It's Imogen. Are you tracking Cassandra? We're about to launch. We have her on visual. No, she's past the event horizon. The fallout. Will probably kill a lot of us. I'm sorry, Miss O'Neill. What is it? It's too late. We're all gonna die. Miss O'Neill, we launch. How much firepower do you have? Well, hopefully enough. China and Russia are launching with us. Okay, I need your real-time descent vector. What's the point? Just give it to me, okay? I have an idea. One... One, zero, five, 18 at 30 degrees to the ecliptic. Hello, Miss O'Neill. Hello, Miss O'Neill? Sir, we really should launch. Start the launch sequence. Yes, sir.
drunk. The lights shouldn't be off. We gotta get them back. I think the power's plugged in. Um, the generator. Fuse for that. <laughs> I thought this would come in handy. I'm fine, thanks. Don't worry about me. Oh, Grandpa, are you okay? <laughs> you think this thing is radioactive? Oh. <laughs> I still need power. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Launch. Repeat. Launch. Weapons are red and free. Go. AG-1, launch. impact. It's been an honor to serve with you. All of you. Brasser, I'm sorry we've launched. How long till impact? Just over a minute. You can reprogram on the go. Put me on the box. New coordinates. What's the point? Because I, I figured it out. No fallout. Impossible. Okay, well, I can explain it to you, or we could save the planet, okay? So it's your choice. Go. New coordinates. Reset on the fly. Okay, new target. Five, zero, two, 
46, 18 degrees, two seconds below midpoint. Got it. New coordinates, 502, 46, 18 degrees, two seconds below midpoint. Okay, now set all missiles to self-destruct on impact. That's ridiculous. General, do you want to die today? timeline projections. Sir, the woman's a genius. 40 seconds to impact. Do it. Set all missiles to detonate on impact. to impact. Detonation complete. All right, Fallout. We... we... What? We, we missed, sir. All ground units report still seeing the asteroid. Lieutenant, you said she was a genius. Why did I listen to that girl? Because we're still alive, sir. to deflect her. The missile explosion acted as a shield, a bumper. And it worked? All stations report. The asteroid changed trajectory. It, it's heading out of the atmosphere. Oh! General, did it work? Host, first of all, to our gracious host for providing us with this wonderful meal. Yeah, uh, it's the least we could do. And I would also like to say a special thanks to you, Imogen, for your courage. Without you, none of us would be here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Please excuse. Close call, 18 years from now, around 2027. How close? An asteroid named AN 1999. I think it's gonna pass within about 200,000 miles of Earth. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't seem so close. 
Unless we're one degree off or if something knocks her off her course.